It's the last game of our Thursday triple header here in the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. The Chocomucho Flying Titans will look to extend their winning streak to eight. Meanwhile, the PLDT high speed hitters will try to keep their semi finals hopes alive here in the second All Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League. Thank you for watching us live on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and through the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. My name is Miguel de Guzman. Together with me is Noreen Go. And later on in the broadcast, we will be joined by Franny Reyes, who will be giving us inside information about both of these teams playing today. Noreen, last three games for the Chocomucha Flying Titans and the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Give us an idea on how important this game is going to be and where they are in the standing so far here in the PBL. Well, we're heading towards the tail end of our elimination. So, of course, only four teams will make it to the next round. So all the matches will be important, especially for teams on the outside looking in. Let's look at the standings quickly. We can see Cream Line, the hottest team, obviously, in town. 8-0. Chocomucho, the next hottest team. 7-1. Cherry Tico, 7-1. Signal 6 and 3, and this is what we're saying. On the outside looking in, PLDT is in a must-win situation because they are still in contention, but they want to battle Signal for the right to the top four going to the next round. So very important match today for both these teams. The yeah, Dreamline Pool Smashers earlier clinched their semi-final seat here in the PVL, but this match will for sure be a chess match between Rea de Mokolangan and Dina Wong who will both have a hard time going up against each other. But let's first talk about their gunners in this matchup. Starting off with Isa Molde, who was the player of the game for the Chocomucho Flying Titans in their previous outing. Yeah, and once upon a time, uh, Rookie of the Year in the UAAP. Isa Molde, after her UAAP stint with UP, went to Chocomucho. Uh, playing, we would say she was playing under the shadows of a lot of players like Des Cheng. However, now she's given the opportunity and she is rising to the occasion. You said it, two, two best player awards already and she is going to be big for Chocomucho in their quest to get their first championship. Definitely, and over onto the other side of the net. So far, another player who has stepped up for her team is Erika Santos of the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Yeah, for me, Erika Santos, when PLDT got Erika Santos, a lot of uh, eyebrows were raised. A lot of people are questioning this. But it goes to show that you trust the management. You trust why they get a certain player. Because in time, you see, Erika Santos is playing like... She's been here for quite some time and uh, has been producing numbers like 11 points against Creamline. And she will continue to play big for the squad. And definitely, ever since she has been inserted into that starting lineup by the PLDT High Speed Hitters, she has been contributing big time for her team. Now, speaking of big time contributions, let's talk about two offensive players who will be going up against each other in this matchup. Cici Rondina and Savannah Davison. Well, I like that, Miguel. Big time because these are big time players. We saw that. We, we can see Cici Rondina and Savannah Davison and their numbers. But for me, it's more of, I always say it, the impact these two players will create on their team. And how are they going to you know, play in today's must-win situation, especially, especially for Savannah Davison because PLDP has to win today. And she will have to like boost her teammates to play well in order to beat Choco Mucho. Yes, CC Rondina currently the number two best scorer in the league. And also Savannah Davison in the top 10 of scoring, but also number two in blocking. So she has really been a contributor both on the offensive end and the defensive end. But of course, earlier we mentioned that Franny Reyes 
is here with us in the broadcast today, and she will be giving us some inside information about both of these teams. Franny, what do you have in store for us today? Well, you, like you said, Noreen, yeah. this is a must-win game for PLDT. So I talked to Coach Rald about what it will take for them to get that win. And he told me like, in their loss against the Creamline Pools Masters, they didn't have that end game. And for today, it, they have to want the win very, very badly. But most importantly, they also have to play smart, know and know their options and know how to use those options. Now, over on the Chocomucho Flying Titans, I got to speak with Coach Dante. And in their past games, yes, they're experiencing a winning streak. However, they have had slow starts, and that's something that they don't want to have today. They want a strong and decisive win for them. And among other things, they also have to work on their communication. Now, that was how Coach Dante feels his team can improve. But we also like to check in with our players and see what they think of their team so far here in the All Filipino Conference. So, let's check out Checkpoint with Caitlin Virai of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. I were to rate Choco Mucho, um, it's 8 out of 10 para ano, doing good pero meron pang room for improvement. Feeling ko yung nag-work for Choco Mucho ngayon, yung um, attacking and na-minimize namin yung errors namin from last game. Aside sa pasa, syempre yung um, kailangan namin sa game yung panapos, ganun. Ngayong second half ng conference, tingin ko mas kailangan namin maging consistent. Um, nakita naman namin kung ano yung kaya namin gawin kapag consistent kami and nagtutulong-tulong. So, for me, pinaka-consistent na player ng Choco Mucho si Ate Sisi. Mula nung pumasok siya sa Choco, laging yung contribution niya, offense, um, defense, laging andyan, hindi siya nawawala. Tingin ko yung kailangan namin bawasan is yung errors namin. Um, sabi ko nga, kailangan namin mas maging consistent and bawasan namin yung mga unforced errors, yung mga bagay na kaya namin i-control. After our Vietnam stint, super um, taas ng confidence. Uh, nakatulong yun sa amin na uh, makita namin kung ano na kaya namin gawin as a team. And um, from there, nakita namin na kaya pala namin. Hopefully, madala namin here sa PBL. Consistency is the key word from that feature with Caitlin Verai. That's actually what they told me helped them in their second set against F2 with that 14-0 run. And they know that if they're consistent, then PLDT will have problems tonight. Now, of course, we talked about you know the chess match between setters, the big time offensive players, but Let's not forget the Liberos, and we actually have our Filipinas Live question of the day, which is which Libero will serve more pancakes today? Will it be Tang Ponce, as you see on your screen, or will it be Kath Arado? Make sure to vote on the Filipinas Live app or join the conversation on any social media platform by using the hashtag PVL2023. So I actually have a different question for you, both of you. How many sets do you think we'll be having today? Minimum of four? That's a very <laughs> tough question, Franny. You know it when we're in the panel. We're always treated to extra volleyball action. So let's see how many sets today we will be witnessing. And when we return, stay tuned because it will be the Choco Mucho Flying Titans going up against the PLDT High Speed Hitters. You're watching the Premier Volleyball League, the heart of volleyball.
Second referee, Mr. Patrick Castillo. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Let's begin in Jersey. Number one, Maria Lina Isabel Molde. At number three, Maria Dina Isabel Wong. Wearing jersey, number seven, Madeleine Irenea Madayag. Number 10, Katrina May Tolentino. At number 18, Cherry Ann Rondina. And at number 22, Cherry Rose Nunag. Starting libero is number 16, Tony Rose Ponce. And head coach, Mr. Dante Alin Sunurin Jr. Presenting our PLDT High Speed Hitters. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number three, Mika Irene Reyes. At number six, Savannah Dawn Davison. Wearing jersey number 10, Erica May Santos. At number 12, Rhea Katrina Dimaculaman. Number 13, Del Palomata. And number 15, Honey Royce Tubino. Starting libero is number 8, Kathleen Faith Arado. Head coach, Mr. Ralph Benson Ricafort. Here are your starters for today for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. It will be Cici Rondina, Cherry Nuna, Cantolentino, Maddy Madaya, Dina Wong, Isa Molde, and Tang Ponce as their starting libero. Start a new way to watch the PVL through the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Over on for the high speed hitters. It will be Savi Davison, Erica Santos, Del Palomata, Mika Reyes, Rhea Dimokulangan, Royce Tubino, and Kat Rado as their starting libero. Good evening, everyone. Miguel de Guzman together with Noringo and Franny Reyes. It's the Choco Mucho Flying Titans going up against the high-speed hitters here in the second All-Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League. Well, looking at the starters, obviously these are the usual starters. Both coaches very comfortable fielding this because we know they're scouting before this match. Definitely, and as you see there, Mika Reyes, good dig by Dina Wong as CC's attack goes straight to the net. Yeah, pretty uncharacteristic start for CC Rondina. Speaking of scouting, Noreen, both of these teams, when they go head to head, when you look at their names on paper, Fang Ponce, number one in receptions and digging, Kat Rado, number two, and then you have CC Rondina, Savi Davison. Mika Reyes. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this will be a good matchup as CC gets back and recovers from that first point error, giving Chocomucho a one and one score against the high speed hitters. Well, Chocomucho obviously wants to start out strong. That has been their Waterloo, you know, so far they always start out slow. So when you play a team against PLDT, high speed, you want to start with high speed. Davison scoring for the high-speed hitters off the block of the Flying Titans. Mika Reyes now up to serve for PLDT. Well, you know PLDT, a lot of people saying that uh, they, they are struggling because trying to find their groove still, they are 5-3. and three. But you like what you see. You see the improvement of this team, and hopefully it's not too late to make it to the next round. As Jerry Luna is rejected at the net. Score is now 3-1 in favor of the high-speed hitters. Franny Reyes has a report for us. Thank you, Migs. Last Saturday, BLDT came from CDO, where it was a big, big homecoming for Kat Arado. I got to talk to her about that experience. And she told me she was very happy that her whole family was able to watch her for the first time. The last time they were complete was watching her in high school, so they haven't seen her play in the pros as a whole. And it was all emotional for everyone involved, not just for Kath, but also her mom. She actually shared with me that her mom is or was an OFW. And when Kath stopped playing in college and finally 
got a job as a pro. She had her mom stop being an OFW so that she could enjoy life here in the Philippines. Now, we did talk about the importance of today's game, especially with both teams having strong blockers. So she told me coverage must be present at all times because coverage gives the spikers more confidence and they can be more aggressive and keep fighting. And they definitely need that confidence against the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Now, this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Let's head back to the game. Thank you for that report, Franny. Rhea de Mokalan goes to Davison off the block. Cat was there. Wong to the running Madayag, and that sails outside. Point for the PLDD high speed hitters. Yeah, barely missed it. It was close, but yeah, good call by the linesman there. But you love the stories, you know, the homecoming. And it's actually sad when you hear that the, the family, that they don't get to watch her because, boy, you said it, number two in this conference, but in UAAP, she's number one. Definitely, and it's good to see family members get together and watch their, you know, the, the people that they're proud of. Yeah. Here in the PVL in the previous game that I covered, it was Louis Romero's family who watched her for the first time. So it's good to see that these players are thriving here in the professional level as Isa Molde, the native of Katmon Cebu, now serving for the Flying Titans. Dell drops it. Ponce to Rondina, cross court. Oh, good thing. Tobino this time off the hands of the blockers. And good for the high-speed hitters. So in that report, we did hear the word coverage because coverage is key. And for Chocomucho, that's what they need. PLDT has been attacking the blockers. Look at that. Catarado, one more step probably to get that. Del Palomada now serving for PLDT. And that's Hills outside going for Chocomucho. Looking strong. A bit of nerves also setting in for Del Palomata. Madi Madayag now serving for Chocomucho. Targets Davison. Dimakulangan to Davison again. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, that's a classic back row attack. But she didn't come from so far. Look at that. Just one approach. Right, and look at the follow through. Just reading the defense, one blocker goes to the corner. Davison stepping up to the challenge. She was the target of the Cool Smashers in their previous match. Still seems to be the target of the Flying Titans today. Tobino, the dig. the dig. Rondina again off the oh. block. Unfortunately, Arado wasn't able to keep that ball up. Actually, she got a hand at that. Now, it, after that, it's her teammates who have to support her efforts. But what a hit by Rondina. It's one thing to see that arm swing on TV, and it's much more impressive when you see it here live as there is a net touch violation on the high speed hitters. Game is tied at seven. Dina Wong now serving for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. A replay of that infraction. Yeah, Rhea de Makulan to the net. Good Targeting pass. Davison again. Good pass. Oh. Santos this time. You know, it's so heartwarming to see a lot of these girls improve. You know, in, even in just one conference, Erica Santos is one of them. And I did mention before, Joe Maraginot, you know, it's, it's so nice to see the improvement. Erika Santos averaging double digits for PLDT in their last three games. As Mika Reyes stops Cherry Luna got the net. She read that through and through, one on one, and there's no, no way. You see how she positioned her hands? No way that ball is going to go through. Royce Tubino now serving for PLDT. Molde to Wong. Back set to Lentino. Davison puts a hand on that one. Davison cross court. And that is a point for Savannah Davison. See the angle of that hit so steep. 
And she took some face off of that hit. That's why Tang Ponce was kind of caught unaware. Look at that. A little bit of, uh, took some face off of that. Davison now with three points for PLDT as Tubino continues to oh. serve. Wong to Rondina. That is a check ball point for Chocomucho. Well, they are down by two. And Chocomucho, if they win today, they are guaranteed a spot in the top four because the magic number we heard is eight. Eight wins. So they're focusing on winning today. Meanwhile, for the high-speed hitters, a win here will put them in a much more comfortable situation instead of having other teams having to rely on other teams rather to be to get into the top four of this conference as there's a challenge called by the PLDT high speed hitters here. Yeah our first challenge of this match. Coach Raul believed that uh, Erica Santos's hit touched the line. No more than the players that we talked about earlier. It's going to be a chess match between Coach Rald and Coach Dante and how they will adjust to each other as you see here. That's a good challenge for the high-speed hitters, giving them the point. You know, I think Coach Rald had the best vantage point in that hit because look at where he's standing. That's why when he saw the ball and they called it out, he said, challenge, that was good. Mika Reyes now at the service line. Ready with one block here in the match. Mika is the team captain of the high speed hitters, targeting Rondina. Questionable set there from Wong, but they say play on. Molde cross court. That's a great shot, you know. Del Palomata was right in front of her and she still went cross. Look at this. Just the right. Angle to target Mika Reyes. But Miguel, you can sense now this first set is very slow. The pace is very slow. Both teams just feeling each other out. Oh, come on! Nothing slow about that, <laughs> Noreen. Come on! That's like hitting practice for Savannah Davison. Let's watch this replay again. Dimakulangan. Going to Davison, single block down the line. Nothing much that the Flying Titans can do there. Wong to Molde. Her version of the down the line hit this time, and that's a point for Chocomucho. Playing it smart, you know, Isa Molde, two blockers, and she chose to go down the line because that's the smaller blocker right there in Rea de Maculangan. Kat Tolentino now serving for Chocomucho. Targeting Tobino. Davison cross court. Boy, Davison is on fire here in this first set. We head into our first technical timeout, 13 10 in favor of PLDT. Stay tuned. Get access to the second All-Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League live and in high definition on One Sports Plus. Plus more premium channels for the whole family when you switch to Signal Postpaid. Subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months with no cash out. Call hashtag 88555 or visit your nearest Signal dealer. See the fans 
present here in the Field Sports Arena in Pasig City. It's 13 to 10 in favor of the high-speed hitters. Everyone enjoying this very close first set matchup so far. Both teams about to get back on the court right now after that technical timeout. Well, before the technical timeout, we have to give a shout out to Savannah Davison really playing well at the start of this match. And you know, on the other end, you have both Molde and Rondina. So these are the actually the players to watch out for. Wong goes to Molde. Dimokulan puts it up for Davison. Wong to Madayag. And that sails outside of the hands of Santos. Well, finally for Choco Mucho, they run the middles, but this time it was a slide by Madi Madayag. That's what you have to do. You have to get the middles involved because you want to free up your wing hitters. Isa Molde now serving for Choco Mucho. And that goes straight to the net. Earn a point, you give away a point. Look at uh, Dante, Coach Dante Alitsnur, not very happy with that. Palomata serving for the high-speed hitters. Ponce, Wong, Tolentino. <laughs> yeah, back row attack from Tolentino. Both, you said the chess match between both setters also activating the back row attack. Madayag, the game changer against the F2 Logistics cargo movers. Serving for Choco Mucho. Dimokulangan to Reyes. So smart. You know, she saw the blockers. The set was not one she's comfortable with. So she just pushed it and brushed it off the blockers. Look at that. That's so smart. Mika, one of the smartest. I've talked to some of the players and they really commend her IQ, her volleyball IQ, both offensively and defensively. Wong to Nunag, checked by Reyes. Tolentino, single block by Tobino. Oh. And that tip is good for Chocomucho. Defense of PLDT caught flat footed there. That was such a gettable tip by Nunag. Look at that. A bit of uh, hesitation on the part of Savannah Davison. Dimokulangan goes to Tobino. Cross court. You know, that's for me basic volleyball for you. Perfect pass by Davison. Perfect set. And Tobino just hit it in between two blockers because the blockers were slow to close. Great set by Ria Dimokulangan. Ceballos now inserted by Coach Raldrick of Ford here in the match to serve for Royce Tobino. Molde, Wong to Tolentino. Oh. Oh, now ball distribution on both ends. Everyone getting a touch to the side of Tokumucho. This, that's classic Pat Tolentino from the opposite. Oh, overpass. Rare overpass by Arado. In that sequence, Chocomucho cuts the lead to one, Noreen. A testament to the serve also of Jerry Rondina, of, of uh, CC Rondina. That was a tough serve. Dimokolangan had to adjust. And this goes straight to the net. Oh, don't look now. It's a tight game. It's a turtle pace, but Chocomucho has caught up with PLDT. PLDT's got to stop this run. CC Rondina serving. Targeting Ceballos. Dimokulangan to Davison. Oh. And she stops the bleeding for PLDT. You know, her contact with that ball is so high. She can get over the blockers. Aside from the fact she has a high leap. Look at that. High-speed hitters are able to find that seam of the blockers of the Flying Titans. Tobino has been attacking that cross-court. Davison as well. Wong. And Lunag twists, adjusts, and scores for Chocomucho. 
Well, the drops, you know. Choco Mucho has been going to that, and why not? They've been scoring, obviously, a weakness in the defense of PLDT. Look at that. The players slow to react. Dina activating her middles early in this match, which is a good sign yeah. for the Flying Titans. Santos, drop shot. Wong, back set to Rontina from oh. the back row. Finds the line for Choco Mucho. Well, for, for Choco Mucho here in the first set, variety is key. You can see the way they're dropping. This one's just placing it to the corner. And they score. Dimpolangan. Yeah. Back set. Oh. Santos. Good save. Arado. Dimpolangan to Davison. <laughs> she has been carrying her team here in the first set. This is going to be a very fun matchup between both of these teams, Noreen. Yeah, and uh, our colleague, uh, we'd like to shout out Sir Sev Sarmienta, is predicting this will go at least four sets also. So same, same as us. With the way that both of these teams are playing right now, it won't be surprising if we are treated to more volleyball. Actually, it is now. It is a treat if it goes at least four. Hopefully five. Wow. <laughs> With how big this game is also for both teams, we want to see them go the distance. Yes. Catalentino serving for Choco Mucho. Davison. Oh. The ball is still alive. Davison again, cross court. Boy, the defense of Choco Mucho cannot find an answer to Savannah Davison. Tobino inserted back in the game. You can see the blockers are actually there, but it's just she's reading the hands of the blocker. Blockers really just, you know, making sure she eludes them. Molde. And there is a net touch on PLDT. Well, again, Chogomucho going to their volleyball IQ. If you said Mika Reyes is one of the highest, I'm sure Chogomucho begs to disagree. We have that too. <laughs> Some all there, just smart. Look at that. And the net touch. Good serve. Dimokolangan. Davison from the back row. Wong back set to Tolentino. 20 all here in the first set as Mitch Morente is scheduled to enter the game, replacing Del Palomata. I was looking at Coach Dante Alinsunurin after that uh, hitting error by Catalentino. He was happy with the play. It's just that final touch, you know, final swing. But he was happy with the set. Oh. Service error there from Mitch Morente. Well, we're at the crucial juncture of this match, and this set. Del Palomata back in the game. But she will be replaced by Catarado as the libero inside the court. Madi Madayag now serving for Choco Mucho. 21 20. Set number one. Oh, what a serve. Good target. Yeah. Dimakulangan to Tobino. Challenges the block. Same. Ball is still alive. Oh. Cece sends it to the other side. Davison from the back row. And that sails outside. You know, prior to that, her efficiency was so high. But Choco Mucho, good eye in letting that go. There's a challenge here by the high-speed hitters. Lock touch challenge. Their first challenge of the match was successful. Let's see if they can go two for two so far. You know, you, you know, I totally agree with you when you said that at uh, the top of the coverage and during actually this first set, the setters will play a big role. And both setters, Noreen, have done a great job distributing the ball so far. All of the starters have scored this early in the match for both teams. Same for the setters, of course. 
as we wait for the decision of this challenge. You see both teams huddling in the middle of the court. Well, here we go. None. Volleyball is a game of inches. We've said it over and over again. And that's the luxury of having these challenge systems. You're able to make the right calls, especially here in crucial stages of the match. Madi Matayag serving for the Flying Titans. Well, they have a two-point lead going to this tail end of the first set. What a block. That over reception. Gives Chocomucho a three-point lead and forces the high-speed hitters to call timeout. Let's listen in to their huddle. Wala naman tiya just sa ano sa offense. Okay lang yung pasalan talaga. Isig lang, isig lang. Hindi ngayon yung para madaliin natin eh. Tama bang plang? Okay lang basa lang sa loob. Okay lang naman tayo. Nakatake naman tayo. Kung mag-off lang ulit yung paraan na nakatras yung nasa line. Sa kawag sa bruto sa pagsikat lang. The best cheerleading competition in the country is back. Catch the UAAP Season 88 Cheer Dance Competition on December 2 at 2 p.m. in the Ball of Asia Arena. Watch it live on One Sports, the UAAP Varsity Channel, and of course, on Filipinas Live. 23-20 in favor of Choco Mucho. It has been a seesaw battle between both of these teams. Madimadayag serving for Choco Mucho. Well, she has been serving well. Tough serves for Madimadayag. Another one overpass. Arado was there. Dimokulangan will give this one to Tobino. And that sails outside. Yep. And no challenge on the side of Coach Rauld. Trying to challenge the block of Bina in that sequence. Unfortunately, it goes too wide for Tobino. Madayag serving. Targeting Tobino. Dimokulangan pushes. Wong sends it to Rondina. Oh! Ball is still alive. Good saves. Wong, Molde, right in the hands of Tobino. And that ends the set. 25 to 20 in favor of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans Marine. Let's take a look at the last play. Yeah, why not give it to the person we talked about on the top of, of our coverage, Isa Molde, playing big once again for Choco Mucho. Once again, it's Chocomucho takes the first set against the PLDT high speed hitters 25 to 20. As you see the scores on your screen, there is a new streaming experience that also awaits via the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Set one highlights, Noreen, being replayed on your screens right now. Yeah, it was a good start actually for both teams. Uh, we did say 
a uh, pretty slow pace this first set. You can sense that when you see the crowd is kind of silent and it's very slow. But what you like about the way Chocomucho then grabbed the lead, then won the first set, was it was very deliberate. The playmaking of Dina Wong was on point. Really distributing the ball to all, all positions. And let's look at the numbers. By doing that, you can see the attack 16 in favor of Chocomucho, blocking by one in favor of PLDT. One thing PLDT obviously needs to correct is their errors. Or are there errors? Look at that. It's double the errors of Chocomucho, 8 to 4. And easily, that's four points if you, if you do the math. So that actually, how, you know, stop them also from trying to gain momentum towards the end of the first set. Speaking of momentum, the Chocomucho Flying Titans went on a 5-0 run to end that first set. Savannah Davison leading all scorers with eight points so far here in the match, followed by Isa Molde with five. Noreen, you pointed out the playmaking of Dina Wong, and so far in this game, you mentioned that she has been making the right decisions. And you know what? Watching her right now, she's playing with so much confidence. Yes. Yeah, and then we did talk about improvements in players. She's one of them. You know, this conference, what a conference also by Dina Wong. Berea de Mokulang and giving Chocomucho the opening points of the set. You know what PLDT can do also here in the second set is try to increase the pace, faster passes. You can go for the quicks, go for the slides. You know, you have to try to increase the pace. Back to back service errors for both clubs. Game is now tied up one apiece. Pisi Rondina. And Royce Tubino now lining up for PLDT. And this is a good front row for PLDT. You can see Davison, Santos, and Reyes. Oh, -ho. speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> overpass. They can start here, you know, for PLDT. Tobino gives some top serves like Adi Madayat bit towards the end of that uh, first set. And let the three in front do the, do the work. Tobino targeting Ponce. Wong to Molde, cross court. Dimokulangan back set to Santos. Oh, good dig. Read well by Ponce. And that hits the hands of the PLDD high speed hitters, giving them the point. Again, the playmaking of Dina Wong, making their offense really unpredictable. This time going to Catalentina, who hits it off the high hands. Nunag now serving for Cho. <laughs> You were saying. <laughs> Miguel Reyes, on the other hand, is getting ready to serve for PLDT. Boy, a lot of service errors to start the second set. We are talking about increasing the pace. How can? Good serve from Mika. Another regalo for PLDT. Now, let's listen in to Franny Reyes, who has a report for us. Another slow start for the Chocomucho Flying Titans, but this time they came out with that first set alive. I talked to Des Cheng about the differences between this team compared to past conferences, and a key difference is that no one gets rattled anymore with their inconsistencies. Yes, it happens, but this team is more tight-knit and locked in that they're able to make those in-game adjustments right away. But of course, they also have that trust in each other, and that's why they're able to adjust. Now, Des and I also talked about Isa Molde, how she stepped up since Des got injured. And she told me that mahinhin talaga si Isa. She's someone that needs assurance that what she's doing is right. But after two players of the game, she's building that confidence. And Isa continues to contribute the way Des knows she can. Knows that she can. Now, this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. And let's send it back to the panel. Thank you for that report, <laughs> Franny. You know, Miguel, that rally lasted the entire report of Franny Reyes. <laughs> that was what the, how long that rally was. Both teams 
not giving up. Catalentino now serving for the Flying Titans. Cat to Arado. Davison cross court. Read well by Madayag. Oh. This will be a free ball for Chocomucho. Yeah, good save. Wong runs. Oh, oh! Ball is still alive. Dimakulangan, back set to Santos. And that does not go over point for the Flying Titans. But Coach Rao, quick to call for a challenge. <laughs> but what saves but on both ends, we have to commend the defense. This is their first challenge here in the second set. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the flight of the ball, when, when the ball is hit into the net, chances are it will hit the blocker's hand. <laughs> Coach Rald was confident too. The moment that ball sailed outside, he pointed it to the bench, asked for a challenge, and that gives him the point. Yeah, I think really, in the, I always say in this day and age of the challenge system, you have the players have to erase that mentality that if it seems like a low hit, it's not over. You take that out of your system, the not over concept, unless it's really, it hit at the bottom of the tape, but if it's by the, the, the top of the tape, you take away the not over and you play on. That's also one of the adjustments to the rules that we have mm. here in the PVL. Before, once it hits the net, the tape of the net, it's already considered a not over. Not over. Yeah, you just have to erase that from your system. Yeah. Because you can see Chocomucho stop playing eh? because for them, it's a not over. Erika Santos. And there's a clarification happening on the court right now. Second referee approaching the technical table. Clarifying the block touch. That happened in the previous sequence. And they officially call the point for the high-speed hitters. Well, I don't know the, what the lull was all about because the challenge obviously indicated that the point is... Oh, it's because they called the not over. Yeah, yeah, I mean, successful challenge. Yeah, correct. Rondina from the back row. <laughs> she went for that one, Nareen. Yeah, I mean, but she was obviously bothered by the people, by the net, you know, so she was afraid of the landing. Oh. Santos straight to the net. 6-4 in favor of the high-speed hitters. Isa Molde now up to serve for Chocomucho. Boy, today's game, no? so far, very deliberate for both this, these teams. Dimokulangan to Palomata. Wong, one to play. Read well by Palomata. Rondina. Oh, court. You know, she wanted to end that rally. See that. Rondina challenging the blockers of the high-speed hitters and the floor defense of Kat Arado. Tobino will send this one over. Chance. Wong goes to Madara. Oh, dig. Arado to Davison. <laughs> First no. player in double digits, Savannah Davison with 10 so far. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, the blockers are there, but she just is so quick. She finds a way. You know, to go through, this time it's on the left, on the right side of Dina Wong. Davison. Serving. Wong setting to Madayag. And Maddie Madayag gets that point for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Well, you, you do like that set to Maddie Madayag because obviously the, the defense of PLDT will collapse on CC Rondina. Maddie 
Who will she target? Davison. De Makulangan overset, but Tobino finds a way to get that point for PLDT. Yeah, just overpowering that tip off Dina Wong. Oh, we know Tobino, we know she's a vet. And she also has high volleyball IQ. Look at that. Del Palumata now serving for PLDT. Molde to Wong. Tolentino finds a hole in the defense. Well, you know, I, I, with this starting six of Choco Mucho, you love the way that Coach Dante is trying, you know, different players out, giving them the opportunity. We see sometimes Caitlin Verai, we see Catalentino, and today Catalentino has been playing well. And since Coach Dante was introduced as the coach of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, they've had adjustments to their system, but everyone is all in. You yeah. see it in their performance here in the PVL. That's so far. They're bound to finish their best for best end to the elimination around here in the PVL as Tubino will go cross court. Wong back row to Molde. Davison. Oh! What a save by Ponce. Oh! Great what defense! A save by Arado. Still alive! Cat outside. No doubt. What she wanted to do. What she did in the previous hit, go to the line, target the line. Either Bang Monse, good save from both of these teams. Look at that. So these are the, the highlights you like to watch over and over again. Raya de Mokulangan, serving for PLDT. Good serve. Tolentino again, this time, gets the point for Choco Mucho. They always get that. That's why we like the way Dina Wong's setting. They're, you know, she's giving these players opportunity to make up. You know, make up for you know, maybe miss hits or they want, she wants them to get those solid hits. Oh! That's a service ace for CC Rondina. She's targeting Honey Royce Tobino here in this defensive formation of PLDT. Dimakulangan to Tobino. Adjusts midair. Wong to Molde. Cross court. Good dig. Dimakulangan to Tobino. What a set by Rhea. And, you know, she takes one back. Catalentino got it through earlier. It's the same thing this time on the opposite court. Raya looks so calm when she sets. You know, she doesn't show that much emotion, but yeah. you know that her mind is working non-stop for the high-speed hitters. Sastubino targets Molde. Wong back to Molde. Drop oh. shot off the hands of Reyes. Boy, she's really, for me, the way she changes things up, she's thinking, looking at the weakness of PLDT, and that's making a big difference for Choco Musso. Cherry Nunag now serving. Game is tied at 10. In the water loop of Cherry's game. Her service. Well, here, here we are in the second set. There are two players we want to step up. You know, for PLDT, it's Del Palomata. We want to see those quick hits, those B quicks. For Chocomucho, it's Cherry Nunag. Both middle blockers that competed in the Southeast Asian Games. Catalentino rejected that. Oh. CC keeps it up. Reyes to Demokulangan, who sets it up to Palomata. Unfortunately, there's a net touch called on Rhea, as announced, but there will be a challenge. Coach Rad will challenge that call. Actually, Savannah Davison was saying that pancake of CC was not a good one. That was what she wanted to challenge, but Rhea did say she didn't go into the net. 
You look at the replay from that challenge. Mm. The no. left arm. Yeah, yeah the left there arm. is a net touch, so that's not a successful challenge, challenge for PLDT. So the reason why she didn't feel it is because oh, that arm band, that, that compression, arm compression, that's the one who hit, I guess. <laughs> 11 all. PLDT has one more challenge left in this set. Catolentino serving for Choco Mucho. Good serve. Davison cross court. Oh, she is the workhorse for PLDT today, doing it and blocking, doing it obviously in offense. Choco Mucho just can't seem to get a stop block. On Savannah Sandy. Davison. Erika Santos with a serve. And Madayag with a point. Yeah? You see the place? PLTT just keeps guessing who they're gonna guard. 1 on 1 against Del Palomata. Isamolde now serving for Chocomucho. Good target. Davison again. And this time, uh, that's a double violation called on Catalentino. A good effort, though, on the side of Isa Molde. Now, that error gives PLDT the lead as we head into this technical timeout. Second set. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live in high definition and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via the Pilipinas Live app. Download and register now. 13-12 in favor of PLDT. Ivy Laxina supporting none other than Dana Wong of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. See there. Fans, sitting with the fans as well. Dina Wong holding her own against Rhea de Mokulangan and the rest of the PLDT high speed hitters. Yeah, we like the way the setters are constantly trying to outsmart the other. And the PLDT so far ahead here in the, the second set. Davison. Targets Ponce, Wong to Madayag. You know, Noreen, it's always the same place that Choco Mucho is running as you look at this replay. But it's the timing of when Dina calls these plays yeah. that keeps the high speed hitters guessing on who to guard here in the game so far. Yeah, case in point, you know, the blockers just a one on one for Del Palomata, and it wasn't a sure block. I mean, she was established. Davison always finding a way to score for PLDT. They are still up 14 to 13 here in the second set. Well, you did say she's the first player to score in double digits in this match. And why not? From all angles, from all parts of the court. 
Palomata with the serve. Wong to Rondina. Good read by Mika Reyes. Tobino. This will be set to Rondina. Oh, this ball will go to Davison. Chance. There we go. Nunag scoring her first points of the second set. Yeah, finally, you know, she gets a touch and she gets a kill. I did mention, no, for Chokomucho, you're waiting for Jerry Nunag to actually, you know, come alive in this match. The same for Del Palomata. Tobino tries to find a hole in the middle, but Rondina was there. Rondina! Runs, attacks, and scores for Chocomucho. Did you see that set? She was parallel to Dina Wong. And then that push. The adjustment of Chisi Rondina. She was so you know, gliding in the air. So nice to see. This will be a free ball for Chocomucho. Who will Dina go to? Nunag scores for the Flying Titans. Well, Nunag, back-to-back -back hits. And why not go to Nunag? You know, once she gets that first kill, she will get that confidence that she needs and feed her. <laughs> oh. Dina with the service ace, extending the Choco Mucho lead to three. Coach Radrika Fort is forced to call a timeout. Let's listen to their huddle. Ito nga yung hindi mamadaliin, saka akuin eh. Isap kong sap ko naman eh. Gandahan na natin. Kung sobrang layo ma, pwede naman po ko kaysa ka. Kapalo ka pa na off eh. Ha? Sila sadya talaga, para madistract. Oy, okay na. Bato pala. Pasensya, guys. Pasensya. Malayo pa yan. Pasensya. Yeliti. Yeliti. The first ever NBA in-season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9 only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and the Filipinas Live app. Hashtag NBA on signal and hashtag always a fan. Dina Wong up to serve. But before that, Franny Reyes has a report for us. Franny? Noreen, I think Cherry Nunag heard you waiting for her to heat up. And I actually got to talk to her before this game started. She told me that she's excited to play today because she was teammates with Del Palomata in the national team. But for her to really get those blocks and attacks going, it all starts with a good service because that allows her to read the opponent's block and it allows her to position herself well. But ultimately, this game is a game of adjustments. Who can adjust better? And let's see if Cherry will continue to heat things up. Let's go back to the game with Rhea Dimac serving. Thank you for that report, Franny. Dumakulangan already with six excellent sets. Good dig, but that regalo is converted by Cherry Nunag at the net. We're actually surprised. No blockers went up to challenge Catalentino. Look at that. The blockers slow. And then the overpass, and Cherry Nunag once again. Franny, there's your answer. Cici Rondino with the serve. Davison to Tobino. That sails outside. You know what I think? This is my opinion. In my opinion, I think what PLDT needs here is somebody to make noise, maybe put in Mitch Morente. You know, you got to change the chemistry. Individually, they are talented, but you need something different, some spark to change things up. Let's see if this is the spark they need. Dimakulangan back set to Tobino. Finally, PLDT getting a point. You know, she needed that, talking about Honey Royce Tobino. They have been targeting her in serves, and you know, she's been struggling. So that kill could like erase those uh, doubts in her mind. Viola Ceballos in the game for Royce Tobino. Serving for the high speed hitters. Good serve. Wong. Rondina from the back row. Wong slow to get up. But she seems okay. As Regina Rocha will 
Entered the game for Terry Nuna. Usually every time CC Davila goes up for hits, it's like you want to take a photo and frame it. <laughs> it's for a, a poster. As a sports photographer, too, it gives us time to set our focus, <laughs> take the photo, and she's still jumping. Yeah. <laughs> Davison. This is another one you'd like to take a photo of. Exactly. Savannah Davison. Dimakulangan to Mika Reyes. But Wong was there. Davison checks Tolentino at the net. Rea checks. Sends it to oh, good pass. Santos. And oh. Monte able to get that off the hands of Mika Reyes. Where everybody just diving and sacrificing just to keep the ball in play. Look at, look at the eyes. You know, I love that slow-mo. Look at the eyes of Issa Moldo. I mean, before you'd see her very timid. Now there's so much confidence in that hit. Arocha. Ceballos, Dimakulangan to Davison. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> hit. Please. Show us a replay of that <laughs> attack, just so we can appreciate that spike one more time. Now you got your wish. There we go. Look at that cross-court hit by Davison. Sharp, sharp angle. And look at the form, Miguel. The form. Jesse De Leon in the game for PLDT. For the high-speed hitters. Full front line now for the high-speed hitters. Let's see what Rea will do in their offense. Wong, Madayag straight to the net. <laughs> Holding on to her head before she even <laughs> landed. Knew that it was a miss hit on her part. If she could have that back, she would. Jesse De Leon now serving, still serving rather, for the high-speed hitters. Molde, Wong, back to Isa. This will be a free ball for PLDT. Davison. Oh, what a dig. But Rondina was there. And this sails outside. <laughs> but what defense being displayed. Coach Dante this time is called to for forced to call a timeout. 21-19 in favor of Chocomucho. Let's listen in. Watch the PBA three on three second conference this year every Monday and Tuesday only on One Sports PBA Rush and the Filipinas Live app. PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo. Just two points for the high speed hitters. Jesse De Leon serving for PLDT. Two points down are the high speed hitters. 21 to 19 against the Flying Titans. Yep, here they come. Talk about PLDT. Good serve, but the ball is still alive. Rea to Palomata. Oh, oh. Finally, you know, this is a much needed point from Del Palomata. Look at this. And finally, something to cheer about for the high speed hitters here in the set. Offense is clicking for PLDT. And it's now just a one-point game from a high of, what, six? One point separating these two teams. Wong back set to Tolentino, checked by Davison. Good stop. Rea back set to Santos. Rondina chases. Free ball, high-speed hitters. Palomata. Oh! And Tolentino. Is left flat footed on that one, giving PLDT the point and tying this game up at 21. Well, if you're no Choco you have to realize you have to react, you know. Dina Wong got a hand at that, but no support from the rest. And yes, we are tied. We have a set here. 
In the previous set, it was 20 to 20. Now it's 21 all. Wong to Molde. Oh, good dig. Oh, good dig by Ceballos. Davison will push this one. Wong to Molde again. Cross court, but De Leon was there. Davison. Well, the energy is up <laughs> for PLDT. It's a 6 0 run for the high speed hitters. Torin, you were looking for a spark. And the whole team answered. Well, we have to say the substitution Fiona Ceballos, Jesse De Leon. You know, these are the sparks that they need. Jesse with another good serve. Madayag. Great dig by Dimokulangan. Santos. Oh. Check at the net. What a stop by Chocomucho. That stops a 6 to 0 run, like you said. See you here on your replay. Yeah, two, two players actually got a hand at that. Mati Madayag and Isamolde. Tolentino serving for Chocomucho. Targets Arado. Davison for the spike. Oh. Good dig from Ponce. Oh! You forget, Del Palomata is there to man the net. Four points for yeah. Palomata in this set. And that huge rejection to give them the lead late in the second set. We saw in that slow mo what a dig by Tang Ponce. Caitlin Virai in the match. Defensive substitution by Coach Dante. Yep. To help with the reception. And Mitch Morente. Mitch Morente also inside the court for PLDT. Good serve. Wong. Back set. Madaya runs, scores. And the game is tied at 23. <laughs> He's gonna give. He's gonna blink. Get a budge. Dimokulangan has Palumata in front. Wong has Madayag and Rondina. Molde serves. Dimokulangan pushes it to the other side. Underhand set by Ponce. Oh, it's still alive. Rhea to Davison. Are you kidding me? Replay, please. One more time for our fans. Dimakulan to Davison. And right when they needed it the most, puts PLDT at set point. You know, she just knew where to put it. Davison serving. Targets Rondina. Wong to CC. And she is stuffed at the net. Look at Palomata celebrate. Well, we did say a minimum of four sets. We have come through with our prediction. <laughs> Rondina is blocked to end that set. We are tied at one set apiece. Dell coming alive here in the match for PLDT.
new streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Match is tied at one set apiece after PLDT winning set number two with the 25-23 against the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Set two highlights on your screen, Nareen. But it looked like Choco Muto was going to cruise for that second set win, but PLDT, you know, again, we said the chess match between the setters and the coaches, and Coach Ral just did the right thing in putting in Fiola Ceballos and Jesse De Leon, Mitch Morente, you know, these changes, that's what we're saying, it changes the chemistry of the team. With, of course, this lady right there, Savannah Davison, really playing huge for PLDT. And what about Del Palomata coming to life? Let's look at some numbers. Attacks by one, still in favor of Chocomucho. Defense worked wonders. We saw those blocks at the end to claim set number two. Errors this time. It's opposite. It's the other way around. Chocomucho committing double the errors of PLDT. So it's safe to say which team commits less errors will claim the set. Which team will commit less errors and which team will go on a run to end the set. <laughs> set number one, Chocomucho, 5-0 run to get first set number one. PLDT, 9-2 to get set number two. As you see, Jojo Lastimosa enjoying the volleyball action here this evening at the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. Des Cheng, of course, sidelined by an unfortunate injury. We wish to see you on the court soon, Des. Get well soon. I think she, I think she suffered an ACL tear, so that's going to require surgery, right? Surgery hmm. and rehabilitation. So it will be a while. So fans, be patient and uh, pray for Des Cheng. Dina Wong serving. The Mulangan sets this one to Santos and Wong unable to get to that one. Opening point goes to PLDT. <laughs> so the question now, Miguel, is if you're either team, you don't want to lead, would you want to lead? Because <laughs> if, as you were saying, no, in first in the first set there was a five to zero run, Chocomucho came from behind also, no? And then the same in second set for PLDT. So you don't want to lead going into the, the 20s of this match. <laughs> it's not how you start. It's how you finish. CC Rondina leading the way for the Chocomucho Flying Titans with nine points. But Davison, 15 big ones for yeah. the high-speed hitters. Yeah. We did uh, mention that matchup between CC Rondina and... Savannah Davison. Well, both players still playing well, but obviously Savannah Davison creating more impact with the high speed hitters. Rondina serving. And that goes outside. Giving PLDT the ball. Same start, you know, it has the second set, a bunch of service errors, which we did say, you know, if you're a team based on the numbers and the trending. You don't want to commit these errors. Nicarea serving. Wong to Tolentino. Dimokulangan will set this one up to Davison, who was checked by the Flying Titans defense. I think that's the first block on Savannah Davison today. She has been successful reading the defense, but Catalentino just denied that line. Good adjustment from Cat. Savannah has been going to that down the line hit in the first set. She's been going actually to all. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Sharp oh. cross. Molde. Checked at the net by Palomata. And Madayag gives Chocomucho a point. The game is now tied at two. But, but there's a challenge. A net touch challenge by Coach Raud. <laughs> they were going to play it, but the challenge came late. Okay. 
Ready lang mo dito ko. See the replay here. Mm, it's all ball. No net touch. Yeah. It's just that, you know, when Maddie Madeyag was on her way down, the net shook. So BLD is like, why? Who touched the net? It was all balls. Nunag serving to Tobino. Dimakulangan to Davison. Off speed. Molde was there. Rondina sends this one to the other side. This will be a free ball. Choco mucho. Wong. Back set to Tolentino. Oh, good save. Davison straight to the antenna. But Franny Reyes has a report for us. Let's listen in to her first. CDO was definitely a memorable experience for Savvy Davison. Not only was it the first time for her to experience an earthquake, it was definitely a wake-up call after they lost to the Greenline Pool Smashers in three sets. She told me that in practice, yes, they focused on their weaknesses, their service, their blocking, but it's more important that they focus on the mental aspect. She told me she can only focus on her role and how that helps her contribute to the game. But ultimately, she is someone that thrives off of pressure. That's where the challenge comes from. And she's locked in and here to shake things up against the Flying Titans. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage all in one app. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via filipinaslive.com. Register now for free. Let's send it back to the panel. Thank you for that report, Franny. And as you mentioned, Savannah Davison thrives under pressure. PLTT. Right now, needs to win majority of their games. Let's see if they can convert. Well, as you were saying, that Isa Molde first hit it to Del Palomata for that block, but she makes up targeting. Yeah, Again, you know, if you're a hitter, you want to be the smart, the smart one by reading your opponents. Dimokolangan goes to Davison. Ponce was there. Madayag pushes it. And this time, that attack is too wide for Savannah. Yeah, that clips the net. Well, a bit of heat check right now for Savannah Davison. You want to get her going once again, you got to give her the set she's comfortable with. Dimakulangan, underhand set to Davison, who pushes it to the other side. Wong to the running Madaya. Oh. Yeah, what a set there by Wong. Creating that opportunity for that one on one. Look at that. Palomata was on point to the right side. Tolentino serving for Choco Mucho. They lead by three. Arado to Dimakulangan. Davison. Able to score off the hands of Cece Rodina. Yep, going long there. Rodina was caught here. Look at this. Out of position. Now Rodina's asking for the ball, calling for a play from Dina. Let's see. Close to the running Madayag. But the point goes to the high speed hitters. She's not complaining. She knew she touched the net. Once again, the honesty that we are witnessing, all thanks to the challenge system here in the Premier Volleyball League. Davison serves to Rondina. Wong tries it again. Oh, good save. Molde this time. Check that the net. Molde again. Finds a <laughs> hole in the defense, giving Choco Mucho another point and the eight to six lead here in the third set. Yeah, again changing it up. You know, she she knows she's having problems getting to the blockers. Just soft touch. Molde 
to serve. Oh! And that's an ace. Well, they've been targeting Tobino. And I guess when you look at the back row of PLDT, that's the sanest choice. Dimokolangan to Tobino. Gets a point back for PLDT. You're targeting me. I'm going to get you back with a spike. Palomata. Del Palomata now serving for PLDT. You get it. <laughs> Wong to Madayag. It has been all Maddie in the set so far. Yeah, I mean, the set, she's not too comfortable if the ball is set too near that pin or that antenna. You know, she takes something off of her follow through so that she doesn't touch the net. Maddie running means Dina is trying to open up some room for oh. this girl, Cece Rontina, but she is checked at the net. I think there was Rhea de Makulangan with that block. Based on, oh, yes, it was. If you have a talented spiker like Cece Rontina, it's very important to split the blockers and give them just the tiny space that they need to get their attack through, but de Makulangan able to hold her own The high-speed hitters are stuffing the Chokomojo Flying Titans at the net. Back to back blocks. And you know, that's a one-on-one. -on -one. Tobino read that well. And we know, based on the second set, if the blocking of PLDT is on point, they're looking good. Palumata. Wong to Tolentino from the back row. Good up by Rea. <laughs> Free ball. Wong checks who to give it to. It's Rondina, but she's checked at the net. Davison was there. Dimokulangan to Tobino. Ponce able to dig that one. Rondina will send this one over. D to set up Davison. One two play by Wong. Well read by Palumata. BLDT in the zone right now. See there, Davison able to find a way to score against our best digger so far here in the conference, Fang Ponce. Del Palumata serving, targeting Molde. Wong to the running Madayag. The dig. Tobino cross court. Well, you know, right now we were saying we were talking about great ball distribution. The past few rotations of Chokomucho, they've been predictable. PLVT reading and defending well. It's a 6 0 run for PLDT. Well, you, you don't want to lead here. <laughs> Wong to Tolentino. Dimakulangan to Tobino this time. Off the hands of Madayag. I was just about to say, when will Coach Dante call for time? And he finally calls a timeout. Let's listen in to the Chocomucho huddle.
boost your watch list this November with Signal's Quick Boost. Enjoy more channels with no extra fees. Just load your prepaid box with loads 300 to 600 or pay your postpaid bill. Once again, that's Signal's Quick Boost. 13 to 9 in favor of the high speed hitters. It's a 7 0 run for PLDT. Let's see if Chocomucho can stop the bleeding or if the high speed hitters can capitalize on this run and add on to the lead that they currently have against Chocomucho. Well, PLDT obviously playing great defense here in the third set, making the right stops. And then when they keep the ball in play, they're the ones that get the kill. So they're looking good and uh, looking smooth here in the third set. The net defense of the high-speed hitters coming to life. Noreen, three blocks in our unofficial tally so far here in the set. Palumata serving. Wong to Madayag again. And this time, connects with Madi for the point. Well, we did say earlier they've been going a lot to Madi Madayag. And finally, she gets this point for Sokumuja. Much needed point to stop the run of PLDT. It's good also that they mixed it up. Maddie kept on running in the previous times. Mm -hmm. Now, just able to set her feet, go for that attack. But Tobino, able to get the point back for the high speed hitters in that rally. Quickly. Quickly. Tobino, you know, ever so reliable, really, followed her career. But we've got to say for Choco Mucho, the energy, the level is really down here in the third set. Dimakulangan with a good serve. Wong has to chase Rondina cross court off the hands of Davison. And finally, Rondina getting that through the blockers. Much needed point for Choco Mucho. CC's in front. I'm just going to have to wait what she's going to do offensively. For sure, she's going to score yeah. for Choco Mucho. Give well, up. yeah, but she has been checked actually by Del Palomata, remember, earlier. In that single block yeah. by Rhea de Maculangan. Erika Santos scoring for PLDT. Yeah. But again, no, must win for PLDT high speed hitters. In today's game, if, if they want to keep their hopes alive to make it actually to the next round. Wong pushes Ponce to set it up for Rondina. Oh, what a dig. But Arado was there. Davison, look at Ponce go. Down the line and that sails out. Yeah, she knew that, no? the contact of the ball. CC had bad intentions on that attack. <laughs> So far, bad result for the Chocomucho Flying Titans, unfortunately. Well, we're actually wondering, okay, now PLDD has a comfortable five-point lead. Does that mean when somebody ch rallies, they end up winning? We shall see. Free ball, high-speed hitters. Dimakulangan to Davison, who smartly pushes it to the other side. Nunag and Dina. Yet to find their connection in this match. Oh, Santos is feeling it for PLDT. Well, this lanky built has packed so much power. Nawawala, sige. Importante, adalam mo na tayo, relax ang mo na tayo, okay? Okay, nagkakaindi dyan. Three spikers. Yung trabaho natin, nawawala na. Three spikers. Ilan ang ginagawa? Sabi ko nga sa'yo, naglo-load sila ng dolo dito. Ito, minsan na lang. Okay? Adjust tayo. Okay? Importante lang, guys. Balik tayo sa ginagawa natin. Nawawala eh, nawawala eh. Let's go. 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 We're inviting you to watch men's volleyball action this 2023 as the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference gets going every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and the Filipinas Live app. Going back to my point. Mm. Perfect timeout by Coach Dante. Trying to get these girls to re remain 
their composure, remain composed here despite the run by PLDT. Yeah, you know, what's more important really is how the girls respond yes. to what he says. You know? you know, it doesn't matter what the manner is. Davis across court. Nothing calm about that spike by Davison. Boy, this is a pretty comfortable seven-point lead for PLDT. Caitlin Veray being inserted in the match for Cat Tolentino. Well, yeah, I mean, we did see that in set number two. Coach Rao changed his lineup. Coach Dante making his own adjustments. Wong to Rondina, cross court. Oh, Arado on. has been reading her like a book in this set. Down the line by Virai, that sails outside. Molde looking at the bench, asking for a challenge on that attack. Using their second challenge here, a block touch challenge for the Flying Titans. <laughs> Noreen, in this conference, during these types of challenges, players are now allowed to go back to the bench and consult their coaches. Actually, not go to the bench. The coach can actually go, go to, the to the players. Go to the players, rather. Yeah. This also serves as an extra timeout and a way to realign their strategy mm -hmm. moving forward. If you look at the footage here on our screens, barely missing the arm of Davison. Yeah, no block touch there. Yeah, of course, Coach Dante wanted to stop the run. It's 19 to 11 now. PLDT slowly pulling away against Chocomucho. They have to find answers now. Ponce, Torondina. This will be a free ball for PLDT. Davison. Oh, she is... Unstoppable at this point. 19 points for Savannah Davison. Team manager Baji Del Rosario enjoying what he's seeing so far from the high speed hitters. Of course, beside him is Jude Turquato, team official of BLDT. CC Rondina. Of course, for the Flying Titans. Well, you know, PLDT looking good here in the third set. Trojo Mucho. I feel you need CC Rondina to find that fire. That, you know, try to take over here in the third set. And they need more creativity with their plays. Yeah. Of course, it comes with the first balls and being able to keep the ball up. Oh. See? Caitlin Verai able to get that one for Choco Mucho. And that's what you want to see, you know, with your substitutions. That was a pump set, obviously by Tang Poche, and then the Verai point. Dimakulangan to Davison, and that sails outside. Well, she is human, Miguel. <laughs> She's human after all. She's not a cyborg. If you have a seven-point lead before that attack, if you had a seven-point lead, you really have the, the luxury of varying your attacks and you know, taking those errors as Erika Santos off the hands of Dina. Free ball, PLDT. Demakulangan strategizing. Demakulangan setting. Davison scoring for the high-speed hitters. Oh, credit to that set by Rhea de Makulangan. It was a shoot set. The blockers slow to close. And we know Savannah Davidson will make no mistake. Twenty points for Savannah Davidson in the match. It's practically one set, Noreen. Yeah.
And we're only in the third set. I think her target is 30 or more. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. as Wong backsets this one to Virai down the line. Her oh, attack is nice. in. Virai, two points off the bench in this set. Oh, there's a challenge. Quick challenge here from Coach Raud. <laughs> Great challenge because uh, very close, but yeah, you can see the ball with that slow mo, it's flattened and still kissed the line. Igreas back in the game, replacing Jesse De Leon for PLDT. Arocha will serve for the Flying Titans. Now's the time to go on a run if you are Choco Mucho. Mm. We've seen the score, 15-21 huh? <laughs> in uh, previous sets. Rocha serving 15-21. Di makulangan to Santos. Making mincemeat of those blocks. Eight points now for Erika Santos. She is locked in. Mm. She is locked in. Look at her focus. Good serve. Wong. Combination to Molde. A dig by Santos. Davison. is on a rampage here today. Eight-point lead, 23-15 in favor of PLDT. Erika Santos serving for the high-speed hitters. Eight points so far for her. Good serve. Ponce underhand to Molde. This will be a free ball. High-speed hitters. Will this give them set point? Yes, it does. No, I mean, really... The problem of Troco Mucho is they cannot seem to be able to contain Savannah Davison. You know, Savannah Davison just playing it smart, changing the pace, going down the line, going long. You know, I mean, smart hitting by Davison. Wong to Virai. And that goes in for the Flying Titans. You know, watching the body language of Troco Mucho and Noreen, even if they got the point on that play, they, they look depleted yeah. in this set. That's true. You know, we, we talked about it, the energy level of Choco Mucho. But what about Virai coming off the bench trying to lift her team? The lone bright spot so far for Choco Mucho in this set. Yes. Dimakulangan, combination to Davison. Check that the net. And Arado and Dimakulangan. Okay, good. They are both smiling. <laughs> Arado couldn't get you know, couldn't move anymore. She might cause some collision or some injury, so she just stayed there. <laughs> My heart raises a little <laughs> yeah. bit every time I see players take time to get up. Virai. Serving for Choco Mucho. Good serve. Targeting Arado. Palumata. Davison. Check out the net. Palumata again. <laughs> Good save. Good up by Arado. Davison goes long. Too long. But still a six-point lead for the high-speed hitters in this set. Yeah, two set points saved for Chocomucho. But with that scoreline, 24-18 or 18 serving 24, they cannot afford any errors. Caitlin Virai. Now serving for Choco Mucho. Sebalios de Makulangan. Davison will push this one. Wong to Molde. And that is still alive. 
Rondina from the back oh, row. Oh, it did. Davison. With the help of the net, wraps set number three up as we watch the replay. BLDT 25 to 18 dominating the Chocobo to Flying Titans. They're now up two sets to one. Welcome back to the Phil Sports Arena. Chocomucho and PLDT. Chocomucho taking the first set 25 20, and then it's PLDT 25 23, 25 18. You know, in the first two sets, the runs happened late to end the set. In the third set, it happened so early that PLDT was able to create a comfortable lead. And they were able to execute towards the end of the set as you look at the highlights from the just concluded set number three on your screens. Yeah, but we did say whoever has that run will eventually win the set. Even at an earlier stage of the third set, there was that run by PLDT and they never looked back. Very commanding third set win. And we have to give credit really to Savannah Davison. How many times are we going to mention her name? what 20 points already she's literally carrying her team and uh, they, it's a must win and they're hoping to snatch one from chocomucho let's look at the numbers attacks went pldt's way and then blocks by one pldt and we did say pldt with with less errors even just by one and that made all the difference <laughs> Eight of the 17 attack points coming from Savannah Davison. Before we start the fourth set, a new streaming experience also awaits via the Filipinas Live app. Available now for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe for as low as 149 pesos. Noreen, when they say that the Filipinas Live app is available for Filipinos everywhere, they are not lying. Because even our Kababayans abroad can subscribe for as low as 399 pesos converted to their currency and they can already watch PVL games live and on demand wherever they are in the world. Is Gia watching? Sharing from experience. <laughs> I'm sure. Yes, I hope she is. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Gia Morata, of course. De Guzman. Sorry. <laughs> Demo Kulangan will start things off for the high-speed hitters here in set number four. Targeting Molde over reception. Oh, they might have got on the way with an overreach or rather an illegal block from Dina Wong you know I'm looking at Dina Wong I think she's probably nursing something because you know she's not the usual fiery Dina Wong it's like she's quiet it's like she's probably under the weather weather I, I'm not sure but there's something missing from her game let's see if she can find that energy that second wind here in the fourth set. I saw her flexing in the first set. Let's see if she can regain that energy again. Oh. Wong, back set to Rondina. Cross court to Bino, but Ponce was there. Molde straight to the net. Ball is still alive and out point. 
for BLDDs. We love the efforts really of these liberos. Tang Ponce, Kat Arado really just diving, you know, just trying to get every ball, keep every ball in play. Rea de Mokulangan serving for the high speed hitters. Targeting Rondina to Virai, who's starting this set. And she has checked at the net by Mika Reyes. We did say if blocking is there for PLDT, good things happen to them. We saw that, right, in the, the second set. We saw that in the third set. Rhea still at the service line for the high-speed hitters. Oh. With the help of the net, oh. ball is still alive. Rhea to Tobino. Ball up, free ball. PLDT. And they go to Mika, who ends the rally for PLDT. They lead 3-0. to zero. Let's listen in to this report by Franny Reyes. You know, Kat Tolentino did tell me that they always have a hard time whenever they face the PLDT high-speed hitters. But it's not so much about thinking of their opponent. They have to focus on themselves first and adjust. And coming from that last set, they had to improve on their energy and their body language. Coach Dante was telling them, challenge PLDT's blockers, but also don't rush. We need to get our momentum back so that we can play in the system that we know. This report is brought to you by the Philippines. Venus Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PhilippinasLive.com. Register now for free and let's send it back to this long rally. Thank you for that report, Franny. And once again, the end of your report ended the rally. <laughs> There is a challenge, a block touch challenge. Although it looked like it looked like the ball hit the mid part of the net, but we will see. The footage on your screen shows that there is a block touch off the hands of Tobino. And it will be replayed. A replay of the point will be done here. It's still 4 0 in favor of the high speed hitters. Well, still a strong start by PLDT here in this fourth set. Targeting Molde, Rondina. Doesn't even have to send the ball over as Ponce is called for a double touch. Double contact, rather. 5-0 PLDT. Yeah, I'm looking at CC Rondina. It's like she wants to get all the balls. You know, she wants to take charge here in the fourth set. Oh, three point given to the Flying Titans. But they had Miguel a 5 0 run to start the set. Now, <laughs> let's see if Choco Mucho can go on their own run as the fans here in the Phil Sports Arena in passing trying to cheer the Flying Titans up. Oh, but to be them. Able to get that one to go right away. Well, the cheer was the entry of Den Den Lazaro Nevelia. We see a lot, uh, a lot of fans. But yeah, look at that. Again, credit the set of Nimakulangan. No blockers slow to close. Den Den playing sparingly in this conference. Only five sets based on the stats that I have. Oh, did I check that the net? This overpass. will be an overpass. Ponce is holding on to her head. Is there a collision? Her ear is red. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Well, she shakes it off, yeah. gives us a smile. Business as usual. Frank Ponce with 18 digs and eight excellent receptions so far, going head to head against Kat Arado, who has 16 digs and six receptions. Virai continuing this hot streak for the Flying Titans, dating back to the third set, scoring again for Choco Mucho. Well, you like the substitution then, you know, she's uh, giving all important offense for Choco Mucho. Nunag serving for Choco Mucho. Good serve to Davison. Madayag was there. Molde challenging Mika. Arado keeps the ball up. Oh. And Davison ends the rally. You know, again, she took something off that, a little piece off that hit. Off speed and it targets the center. And it always, you know, look at the defense. They're just dumbfounded you know, by that hit by uh, Savannah Davison. BLDT has solved this Chocomucho Flying Titans puzzle here so far in the game. Santos, but uh, Molde getting the point for Chocomucho. Well, that stemmed from good passing, perfect pass by Cici Rondina. And for Chocomucho and their fans are hoping that kill, that emphatic kill is a start of something big here. They need a rally. Doreen, good decision there by Dina to go to Isa Molde. Previous rally, she went to Virai. She has to mix things up because Rondina has been checked at the net, as we mentioned so far. No. But miscommunication there on the court. These errors, these points that they're giving away is not helping their cause in any way. Yeah, and also stopping their own run. You know, they're trying to, to create a run or to have a run here. Diag is in front. Let's see if Wong will make her run. And there we go. On cue. Yeah, that's just a smart drop there. It's totally nobody home. In zone four. Molde. Serving. Nine to four. Davison. Oh, good good save. save by Denden Lazaro Revilla. Rondina. Off the hands of Davison. And the crowd finally cheering here for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. A couple of points in a row, which is what they need. They need to build on that, but you like the way Rondina changed. That hit, just an off speed, and that caught Davison off guard. Now the fans are getting into the game. Molde. Oh! And you can finally hear some clapping <laughs> here on the side of the Chocomucho Flying Titans fans. Score is six to nine. <laughs> Molde serving. Dimakulangan. Davison. Uh, and those cheers suddenly turned into. Oh. Yeah, I know. I mean, we were very typical of a Choco Mucha match, the fans, you know. Since there's a libero, the seventh man, we we'll call it the eighth man, the fans. And then suddenly, oh, they're here. <laughs> but better late than never. Virai. Off the hands of Santos. 7-10. Madayag will now serve for Chocomucho as we look at the replay of that last Virai point. Cici Randina in front. You gotta expect her to try to take charge. Five points now for Caitlin. Dimakulangan to Tobino. That will go outside. So Charles will not use his challenge, and just like that, the lead is down to two. Well, it's a good sign for Chocomucho. They're having a run of their own. Game of runs indeed. Madi Madayag serving. 
And that goes in. <laughs> and this is the energy that we want to see from the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Maddie pointing inside. You know, in the previous set, they looked like they just want to get the game over with Green. Yeah. You can't win a game with that type of energy. That's true. Let's see if they can extend this match and ride this Over momentum. From Dimokulangan pleading that there is an overreach. No, that was an overpass, you know. Look at Luna patiently waiting for that ball. Yeah, it is in their court, so that is a correct non call. Game is now tied. 7-1 Choco Mucho run. Madaya targeting Davison. Dimakulangan setting it to the net. And the crowd erupts as Choco Mucho regains the lead 11 to 10. Well, yeah, they're back in this match. Coach Rao is forced to call a timeout. Let's listen in to the huddle. Competition in the country is back. Catch the UAAP Season 86 Cheer Dance Competition on December 2, 2 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena. Watch it live on One Sports, the UAAP Varsity Channel, and Philippines Live. Now with the lead 11 to 10, Madayag serving for the Flying Titans. Davison. Yeah. Demokulangan pushes it. Wong to Rondina, who has been quiet. Arado was there. Tubino off the hands of Nunag. Madaya lucky to keep that up. And Rondina. All. Choco Mucho in this run so far. Rondina just hit it smart. It's like a loop to zone one. Look at this. Out of reach, out of sight. And I now see Dina Wall with those fire, fire in her eyes. Trying to egg her team on. And they have the run, Miguel. Yes. <laughs> the the Chocomucha Flying Titans rallying behind CC Rondina now. You mentioned it in the previous set. She really wanted to go for every ball mm. just to give her team a chance. Legashon in the game. Back row to Davison. Wong. Oh my goodness, this is over, but that. It's still a point for the <laughs> Flying Titans. Lucky break there for Choco Mucho. And look at the reaction of CZ Rondina. That's no block. It's the technical timeout of the fourth set. We will return. One run by the Flying Titans. They are now up 13 to 10 against PLDT. And you know, taking a look at our muscle-up matchup of the game, CC Rondina with 14 attacks and one ace. 
Savannah Davison with 26 big points for the PLDT high speed hitters. Well, we know these numbers will be for naught if they don't win this match for PLDT. Again, we will say they are in that situation where losing is not an option. They have to win this match. Let's see if PLDT can stop the bleeding or if the Chocobucho Flying Titans can extend this to a fifth set. 13-10. Well, Chocobucho looking good here after trailing majority of the way. They're now ahead by three. At one point, PLDT was up 9-3. to three. It's been all Chocomucho since. Legacion to Tobino. Oh. Batayag with a dig. Oh. Chaust at the net. Ball is still alive. Dina Wong. Back row ball there. And the last minute decision by Davison to let that ball go results into a point for the Flying Titans. Everything clicking now for Chocomucho. They want to extend this to a five because they too want to solidify their position in the final four. Now seeing smiles on the side of the Flying Titans. Morente back in the game for the high speed hitters for defense this time. Good serve. Davison. Good serve by Maddie Madayag. That's an A serve and target. Anna Davison, look at this. If you are the server, you want to take out the offensive player of the other team, and no better way to do it than to serve hard. Maddie with an ace on Savannah. Straight to Morente this time. Regalo! Oh! Choco Mucho up 16 to 10. Franny Reyes. Blocking is not the only strength of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, but the crowd that they have roaring here in the arena right now and the high-speed hitters knew that that could be a problem. Of course, everyone here is rallying behind CC Rondina, who once told me that her attitude playing for this team, dugaan man salaban hindi siya susuko, and she wants everyone to rally behind her and continue playing the way that the Choco Mucho Flying Titans like to play back to the battle. Thank you for that report, Franny. First one-two play of the match, Legacion scoring for the high-speed hitters. Well, they don't know what Legacion is capable of doing. She is also a veteran setter, a smart one at that. Well, if you're PLDT, you are down. But just by five, this is manageable, but you have to have your own run at this point. Whoa! The Wong sending some extra decibels over to the side of the high-speed hitters as she made them know of that nice play. Look at that attack from Nunag. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, and she gets the better of Nico Reyes. PLDT with the reception. Legacion to Reyes. Ball is still alive. Tobino sends this one over. Wong, Nunag again. Morente with a good up. Legacion to Davison from the back row. Lazaro Revilla. Oh. Rondina is stuffed by Miga Reyes. Yep, she read that well. She anticipated that deep cross court. Slams the door. Look at that. Slams the door on CC Rondina. What a stop. They needed that. Talking about PLDT. We've seen this a lot in the UAAP now. We get to witness Mika versus Cece at the net here in the PVL. Legacion with a serve. Rondina again. That sails out. She was successful earlier. Remember that down the line punch there. But a little too strong on her end. Legacion still serving for PLDT. Oh, what a serve. Wong, back set to Virai. And there is a block touch called on the high-speed hitters. Coach Rad saying, Meron, 
<laughs> I was looking at the, the Vita saying, Wala. Let's go try. We'll not hear of that. <laughs> Five points down. Choco Mucho, 18 to 13. Rondina with the serve. Legacion to Davison from the back row. Nunag and Lazaro Revilla collide. But at the sprawling. Legacion to Tobino who pushes it and finds a hole in the back of the court. 18 to 14 now. Yeah, that's great court sense for you. Yeah, she was out of position, but she saw that spot in the corner pocket. Tobino serving for PLDT with 10 excellent receptions so far. Molde adjusts and spikes that one to the other side. Davison is checked at the net. That was a stop that they were waiting for on Savannah Davison. Watch that replay again. Davison straight to the hands of Kate Virai, who has been a spark off the bench for Coach Dante. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, that was the, the change that he needed, the catalyst. Arocha serving. Targets to Bino Legacion to Davison again. This time gets it off the hands of Virai. Changing things up. That's what you want to do. You got blocked, but it doesn't stop you from trying. Cherry Duna getting ready to get back in the game. Del Palomata on the other hand, subbing in for Jesse De Leon. It's Morente, Davison, and Palomata in front for the high speed hitters. But what what about this substitution putting in Legacion at this stage of the match? You know, what confidence Coach Raul Ricofort has with the setter? Oh that's a costly error there. For Mika. Going back to that substitution, gutsy move by Coach Rald so far, keeping them in the set. And it also allows Rhea to see how the flow of the game is going and, and to, get rest. to get rest and make adjustments once once she's inserted back. Virai targeting Davison. Legacion to Davison. Molde was there. Wong back set to Madayag. Well, that should boost her confidence. Remember that struggle there in set number three. This rotation, a great way for Mary Madayag to get a point. Kate Virai, seven points on six attacks and one block. Serves and targets Davison again. Cross court, Davison. And it's a poke there in that hit. But still, look at that angle. Look at that. Crazy what she can do. Five point lead, Chocomucho. Morente serving. Targeting Rondina. Wong, one, two, play. And gets that one for the Flying Titans. I think that's her first. At least first point off that dump, second ball dump there. Dimakulangan now back in the game for the high speed hitters. Isamolder will be serving for Choco Mucho. Crucial moments. No! Santana straight to the net. Doreen, earlier you said that Sir Seb Sarmienta mentioned that this game will go the distance. <laughs> Sir Seb, I hope you're watching and enjoying this volleyball matchup. It looks like we're going to a set number five with the way things are being played right now. Yeah. Chokomucha just, just two points from pushing us to a set five. Davison scoring for the high speed hitters, of course. Di pa tapos to. Wala pang nakaka-score ng 25. Let's see if the high-speed hitters can go on a run. One more run here in this set. Or if the Chocobucho Flying Titans can extend this one to set number five. 
Jevison with a serve. Oh, that looked like it could go out. Grondina, but Arado was there. Tobino using the hands of Madaya. Grondina sends this one over. Oh. Morente. No one getting that second ball for BLDT. Set point, Flying Titans. Well, you gotta laud the effort of Mitch Morente keeping that ball in play, but they need, she needs the support. Look at this one. She kept that in play. Madayag serving. Set point, Flying Titans. Davison, Dimakulangan, Tobino. Oh. Wong, Torondina. Chance! And we are going to a fifth set here in the second All-Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League. The Flying Titans get set number four, 25 to 17. Well, again, we are happy to say we knew this would go the distance, minimum of four, but ideally five, and we get five, Miguel. Streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Set 4 going the way of the Chocomucho Flying Titans, 25 to 17, Marine. We are going to fifth set. <laughs> we knew this would go the distance, especially when we know what's at stake, you know. PLDT, again, we've said it so many times. They want to win this. They have to win this to boost their chances make it to the final four. For Chocomucho, on the other hand, if they win this match, they are guaranteed to, to make it to the final four. We've seen, actually, similar plays from both teams, but what made the difference was that run, that push, when the crowd got into that set, in the fourth set. It's like Chocomucho, just something snapped, you know? They woke up from a slumber and they they're bringing us to a decisive fifth set. Let us look at the numbers there. Attack Chocomucho, 16-11, blocking PLDT. And again, the errors. Chocomucho, my goodness, just two errors in that set. PLDT would find. So if we follow the trend from set one to set four, the team that commits less errors will prevail in this match. Tank Ponce on your screens here, keeping the defense alive for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. But of course, her counterpart, and then Denise Lazaro Revilla, has been phenomenal for the Flying Titans. Despite playing sparingly in the previous games, inserted in this match, and you know, making key digs throughout the game, throughout the fourth set, rather. Now starting the game for the Flying Titans. Well, well, of course, for her fans, they're so happy to actually see her back in action and uh, contributing to the cause of Chocomucho. Dino Wong, Dimakulangan. <laughs> oh. Good save. Rondina will send this one over. Rea, back set to Santos. Pialiti starts the scoring off here in the fifth set. Dino Wong try to save that. You appreciate the effort. You see the disappointment, now you see the, the hunger in all these 
Choco Mucho, lads. Tubino serving for PLDT. Royce has 13. Oh! Make that 14 after that service. Ace. PLDT is now up 2 to none. See that replay again? Great serve. A shank by Isa Molde. But again, we did say it's not how you start, it's how you finish. PLDT starting off 5 to 0 in that fourth set. Chohomucho able to extend this match into a fifth and deciding set as Davison finds a hole in the defense. 3 0 now for PLDT. But Tareen, yep. this time, we are only going to play for 15 points. Yeah. So this run by PLDT here is crucial. Let's see if they can keep it up. Yeah, you're right. Race to 15. So who wants to make runs should make it sooner than later. Virai adjusts the Makulangan back set to Santos. Oh. 4-0 PLDT, Franny Reyes has a report for us. High-speed hitters know the urgency of tonight's match. It's a must-win, but Mika Reyes said pressure is always a given. They have to balance it with the right mindset and fun that they usually play with. In the huddle, they highlighted the need for composure. Masyado silang nataranta in that last set, but they have to forget it. Most of all, they have to want it. According to Coach Rao, kailangan mang ibabaw ang gustong manalo. Therefore, this match is up to the team that wants it more, and it's going to be a bloodbath for all of us watching. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PBL coverage all in one app. Let's head over to the challenge of the PLDT high speed hitters. Ball in, ball in. Oh, challenge. Called by PLDT. Ik lang ah, kahit mag inside, okay lang. Okay. Sumbring lang tayo. Kahit ano mga yaya, receive tayo na mahaya. Sakas, palo kayo sa harap. Cover kami. Cover kami. Cover, cover. Ball is out, but the Chokumucho Flying Titans will be countering that challenge with a block touch. Successful challenge by PLDT. Now let's see if Chokumucho can overturn the point that will be given to the high speed hitters. Block touch. That challenge. I love how Kat Arado and Tang Ponce took charge of their huddles during the challenge breaks that we had in that sequence. Yeah, and trying to keep it light actually, especially in the side of PLDT. Dimokulangan to Santos. Wong with a great save. <laughs> that is huge from CC Rondina. All speed to the center. Not even Kat Arado can get to that. I hope we can take a look of that. Take a look at that replay. You are. You're gonna get to. Oh, this look one. Look at that save. Whatever works for Dina Wong. If it's meant to be, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That serve goes outside. Uh, I mean, that's gonna hurt because they worked so hard to get that point only to give it away. 6-1 now in favor of the high-speed hitters, Mika Reyes. Serving for PLDT. Six points for their team captain. Molde cross-court. Great dig by Mika. Davison cross-court. 
Wong back row through oh. to Dina. They needed that from CC Rondina. The pipe attack. Dina favoring something, Noreen. She is, right? Gingerly walking yeah. forward. Maybe she'll have that energy boost again if they go on a run here. 6 2 in favor of the high speed hitters. As oh. Davison oh. is checked at the net, but ball is still up. Rondina, Wong, back set, Virai. And they cut the lead in half, 6 to 3. Here they come, talking about Choco Mucho. Look at that attack. By Virai. How will PLDT respond right now? Whoa! Well, that's not gonna help. 7-3 now. Santos serving. Targeting Rondina. Wong, good set to Molde. She powers that through. We saw Palomata was actually there, but it's too much power. Look at this. There you go. Agent Virai now serving for Choco Mucho. Three points down against PLDT. Targeting Tobino. Dimakulangan to Davison. Gets the point for the high speed hitters. That replay again of that attack by Davison perfectly placing it. And she knows just when to take something off of her hit. Wong to Madayag. He'll take that one. However, which way, right? I mean, these weak hits, as long as they get the point, because they are chasing. Isa Molde now serving for Choco Mucho. Molde with 14 big points for the Flying Titans. Good serve. Dimakulangan to Tobino. Wong, good underhand set to Rondina. Dimakulangan to Davison. Molde from the back row. Oh, good day. Arado was there. Tobino off the hands of the blockers. Ball is still alive. And they watch that ball like it's the fifth set of this match. Nobody getting to it. Giving PLDT a four-point lead. You know, what was the problem there is Emilia was going after the ball. Then Molde got to get her momentum. She's going to get it. And then... You know, her momentum took her to the right side and she couldn't actually save. CC yeah. was trying to load up for that yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah. Morente serving for PLDT. Ponce, one-two play by Wong. Santos was there. Davison off oh, the hands wow. of the blockers. Good save by Tang. Dimakolangan sets to Tobino. Oh, what a block! Ball is still alive. Good cover, though. What a rally. Wong, good decision to go to Maddie. This is a long rally, Miguel. Who will Wong go to this time? Madayag again! Oh! And finally ends the rally. Choco Mucho gets the point, 6-9. to nine. Well, What a rally, though. I had a little bit of everything. Look at that, Matzilla. They out. need that, Marine. They need that energy. Maddie now serving. Madaya with 17. Targeting Davison. Dimakulangan to Tobino. Oh. But Tabino doesn't get majority of the sets because of Davison, but when she's in front, she has been key for PLDT. Look at that attack by Davison. Yeah. 
Correa is serving for PLDT. That means it's a full front line for the high speed hitters. DMAC. No! Boy, that is a huge error. Even the best of them, Rea de Makulangan, gets the jitters. Wong serving. Dina oh! with the service ace. Choco Mucho is still in this one. What a serve. Look at that. It dropped. Dina targeting Davison. Arado to Tobino. Oh. Overpass. Good set, but to the wrong team. As Erika Santos confirms on that regalo. We'll see, but there will be a challenge. They call a net touch. This will be a very crucial challenge for the Flying Titans. Look at the footage here. No net touch. Yeah. No net touch. Boys to be serving with her team up by three. Chocomucho with no more challenges left. In the set. Rondina cross court. Oh, come on. Overpass again. Wong back set to Virai. Oh! What a set. What a spike. Choco Mucho inching their way two points away from tying this game at 11. Virai failing Choco Mucho out in that play. A couple of overpasses. Look at that. CC. Is serving for Chong Omucho. Dimokulangan. Lucky break. In an illegal block called on Dimokulangan. So PLDT will be calling for a block touch challenge here. But before they grant that challenge, our second <laughs> referee will be. Confirming with our head referee about the call. We prove that we are not here to mama sa kanya. Huh? Let's do challenge. Touch him. To those watching, if your setter is in the back line, you're not allowed to either score on one-two plays or block in front. I'm actually looking at the second referee, trying to see what they're discussing. But yeah, if you're a back row setter and the ball, like you're going to the net to set and it goes over, and let's say Kaitin Barai hits it first and it hits your hand. That's, that's an illegal block. Yeah, that's, that's considered a fault on the setter. Because even if she has her, her fists were closed, she jumped and it touched her. So yeah, that is the right call. Defensive substitution now for Coach Rald, putting Sibalius in the match for Royce Tubino. Game is tied at 11. Dimakulangan to Davison. This will be a free ball for Chocomucho. 
Backs it to Viray. Off the hands of oh. Reyes. Arado to Santos. Good dig by Wong. Ponce to Molde. Cross court. Good save. Wong goes to Nunag. But Arado was there. Santos still alive. Long rally oh. ended by Viray. Boy, you've got to love the heart of Caitlin Viray coming off the bench and scoring important and much needed points. Don't look now. The game is tied at 11. Oh, the target. Santos. Ponce was there. Rondina from the back row. Take a look at this back row attack from Rondina. No doubt. Coach Rad, force the ball time. Let's listen in. Marine, we said this was a game of runs. Please update our viewers about the current run that the Choco Mucha Flying Titans have. And we see in favor of them, 6-1 run. And if we follow the trend, Choco Mucho looking good here. This is a race to 15. Davison checked at the net. Santos. Oh! Isa Molde with a stop block. You see the way she read it? She positioned herself to cover the cross. Look at that. Lock at the net. Davison. Oh, what a save. Ponce was there. This will be a free ball for PLDT. Santos again. And this time, it goes inside. Santos probably thinking, why didn't I do that earlier? Why did I feed it to Isabalde? Tactical substitutions here for Coach Ralph, Jesse, and for Mika. Del, back in the game for Morente. Santos, Davison, in front with Del Palomata. Uh, tense moments. Wong has Viray. And Nunag waiting. Oh! oh, how painful is that error? Regina Rocha, the, the, the service specialist of the team, being inserted by Coach Dante to serve in place of Cherry Nunag. We've seen this girl and matches through service aces. For sure, she will be targeting either Davison or Ceballos in this sequence. Oh! What Target a Ceballos. Davison pushes it, slips, free ball. PLDT, Dimakulangan will set this one up to Santos. Oh, what a dig! Arado. Santos again! Good up by Wong. Chance! Molde! Not yet! PLDT. Davison, check! Arado with the cover. Santos! Check! One more time for PLDT, still alive! Rondina to Molde. Demokulangan to Santos. Oh! oh! And the Choco Mucho Flying Titans are heading into the semis as the number two seed here in the PBL Second All-Filipino Conference. They take the second seat right now. 
Boy, hats off to the efforts of both these teams. We were treated to great volleyball tonight. Yes, it is tonight. Kaitlyn Beray. Isa Molde, Cece Rondina, Dina Wong, everyone. Fab Ponce stepping up when it matters the most for the Chocomucha Flying Titans as they sneak and get their eighth straight win here in the BBL All Filipino Conference. Yeah, we gotta mention PLDT tried but just fell short. Kat Arado played well. Davidson, Savannah Davidson played well, Erika Santos, but they just fell short. Relive this game and all BBL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. So download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Trovo Mucho going on a run to take this game from the PLDT high speed hitters in five sets to read. You know what you like about this? Through the years, you know, there's a lot of criticism on the maturity of Choco Mucho, the way they handle pressure and handle games. They're showing this conference that they're a new team, you know, with a new system in place, new attitude. They were tested today. It looked like they were Choco Mucho of old, but then they pulled through and showed us, indeed, there are a different team. 9-2 run by the Flying Titans to end the game. Franny Reyes is with our player of the game. Franny. Our player of the game, none other than Tang Ponce. 23 digs and 11 receptions. Now, Tang, my first question for you. Welcome back to the semis. Kamusta naman ang feeling na makabalik sa semis for the first time since the 2022 Open Conference? Um, sobrang saya namin. Ito yung, ito nagbunga na yung trinabaho namin. Mas magtatrabaho pa kami sa pasok sa semis. Now, there was no doubt that this was a hard game, both physically and mentally. Paano nyo na-overcome ang challenges na yun? Um, sinasabi lang sa amin ni eh, Coach na nasa amin, nasa amin lang yung problema. Pero, <laughs> pero sabi niya, tibayan namin. Kaya nilakasan lang namin na loob namin. Now, I know you've secured your semi-spot, but of course, medyo mabigat ang mga next na kalaban ninyo. How will you prepare? Um, back to the drawing board kami. Um, magpapahinga muna din sa back ulit. Thank you so much, Tam. Of course, that win was not possible without the Choco Mucho Flying Titans fans. Please greet the many fans here in the arena. Um, binabati ko yung Supporta sa Choco Mucho. Thank you. Hindi dahil sa inyo. Nang ewan ko. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you so much, our best player of the game, Tang Ponce and Migs Noreen. Help me close this out. Thank you, Franny, and congratulations again to Tang Ponce and the rest of the Flying Titans. Noreen, an updated standings here after that win by Choco Mucho. Please take us through. Yeah, as we said, Dreamline and Choco Mucho are safely into the final four. The magic number is eight, and the last two will be contested by Cherry, Signal, maybe PLDT, maybe, but it's going to be, uh, you know, some math, some number crunching. But who is sure are the top two teams right now? Two seats taken. Two seats to go. And soon enough, we will find out who among Cherry Tigo, Signal PLDT, and Petrogas, as well as Sakari, as Noreen mentioned, will take the final two slots in the semifinals. And on Saturday, volleyball action resumes here in the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. The Signal HD Spikers against the Next Led Chameleons at two. Akari versus Petrogas at four. And the Cherry Tigo crossovers against the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers at six. It will be an exciting game day again. Congratulations to Choco Mucho. And for Narito and the rest of the crew here in the Premier Volleyball League, this is Miguel de Guzman. You're watching the PBL, the heart of volleyball.
Thank you.